cancel out a QID? And why may you cancel out the QID? These are two different questions that have been asked so many times by the subscribers. And today I just want to give you light and explain to you what exactly it means to cancel out a QID. Remember, when we come to these Gulf countries, or when you come to these countries, the QID or what you call the residence permit is one that accepts you or one that allows you to stay in the country in what we call in a legal form. You must have what you call a residence permit for you to stay in these countries. And for you to get a residence permit, you must first undergo what you call the medicals. The medicals is what you call the fitness, the medical fitness test to ascertain these medicals are not made for fun but just to find out is this person eligible or is this person fit enough to work in this country or does this person does he he or she not have what you call contagious diseases which are very hard for them to treat but why why do you cancel out the qid or why may you cancel out the qid that is a question that we get. That is something that we need to talk about first. Yes, there are a number of reasons why you may try to decide to cancel out the QID. One, you may want to shift away from the country. Maybe you want to shift away from Qatar. You want to exit out of the country for permanently good. You have to cancel out your QID. If you two, two if you have planning to relocate or locating your families away from here back to your country then if you are a sponsor of that family let's say for example you have five kids you become the sponsor so for you to relocate them back to your country you need to cancel out their residence permit away to avoid any further or any other escalation or any other uh, that may happen to you. Then, another situation, number three, you may cancel out your ID if you are going to change from one sponsor to another sponsor. This can be in two situations or two, next two scenarios. Let's say, for example, you are going to change from one sponsor within the country and then another situation, you are going to change another sponsor or you are going to exit out of the country, then you are going to get a new visa. You will you, 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 you'll be, you, you'll have to cancel out your ID. But remember, when we are talking about canceling out the ID or canceling out what we call the QID or the residence permit, who is responsible? Can you cancel out your QID? That is a question that some of them or some of us that we don't definitely to understand what are we supposed to do and what am I supposed to do? By the way, if it's your first time to come across this channel, consider supporting and subscribing to Mix. Follow me on my Instagram account, follow me on my Twitter account, LinkedIn account, uh, YouTube account, I am Mix, Mix Creation TV, and also follow me at TikTok, I am Mix. You'll always be getting these updates every now and then. Who is responsible for cancelling out the QID? Remember, according to the Qatar labor law, or according to the sponsorship laws in Qatar, it is only your sponsor that is mandatory, or it is only the one that obligates to cancel out your QID. But remember, he has to cancel out your QID depending on what was agreed upon in the contract. Let's say, for example, you sign a contract of two years. And you decide, you said we are going to, I'm going to work with you a contract of two years. After your contract, you can decide to cancel your QID. You can resign, given the notice period that is required or mandatory by the law. You will, he will prepare what you call an exit permit. That exit permit is going to cancel you out of his QID. When he's cancelling you out of his QID, you can change to a new sponsor or you can get a new visa. Sometimes it may not be our real sponsors that are cancelling out their QID, but they have what you call the representatives. For people who speak well Arabic, they are called Mandu. Then when we go to the English or the other normal terms, they are called the PROs. A PRO is a representative of that company who is obligated or who is given an antonal power 
to go and cancel you out in the system and that is what normally happens that's why you go to so much most of the companies they have what you call the PR or that is their work to deal with what you call the public insurance regulation officer which deals with such kind of matter so you cannot cancel out your ID even if you cancel it out it will not be out of the system your visa if you say you want to resign at a time when your contract is not finished or your years are not finished as to that it's not cancelled out really so meaning that you may not you may find it very hard for you to get an opportunity to come back into the country in case you have to come to hope i've tried to share something for you thank you so much for coming back to this channel and thank you so much for liking this see you again in the next video